Hey guys, this is Mad Kids in One. This is just going to be a um a brief review of I Work O Nine. I purchased this yesterday, um, on the sixth, the day it came out, and um, I've been testing it out, and I'm going to do a review video. Okay, so first of all, I'll I'll just show you after you install I Work Um O Nine, just like I Work O Eight, it puts a folder in your applications folder called iWork09. Within that are three applications, Keynote, Numbers, and Pages. Now, Keynote is a, um, a presentation um, creator. It is for things such as PowerPoints um, or PDFs. Numbers is um, um, a spreadsheet maker. It's compatible with Excel spreadsheets. Um, I won't be demonstrating this today. Um, if you want me to, I'll make a separate video on this. Um, also, Pages, um, which is a word processor, um, not just a text editor, similar to Microsoft Word in many ways. So, first of all, I'll just show you what these applications look like. Pages um, has has a template chooser, and you can just select a template. And um, right here is the main window. You have this attributes window right here. And um, right here, you have you can view the pages. You can go full screen. You can set outlines. Um, you can do a bunch of stuff. There's this nice media function, which lets you insert media. This is also in um, the other two applications. You can insert media, and that's just nice. Um, I will show you the best feature at the end. Um, there's also Keynote which is the presentation um, creator. I've This is the one Apple uses, Gradient. And this is just um, pretty simple here. And you can edit this. And um, yeah, that that's, that's that. Pages saves as dot pages. I'm not sure what Keynote saves as, but you can also export um, Keynotes to PDFs, HTML files, all sorts of things. Same goes for pages and numbers. Um, so next, I'm going to be showing you a few file formats that work. Subscribe.doc is my doc file I have. That's a regular Office file. Office 2003 or earlier creates that. Um, Subscribe.docx is my Microsoft Office Word 2007 document. Um, Subscribe.pt is a PowerPoint. I am I created um, this will open it and subscribe to RTF is a rich text file which I prefer to use text edit for because it's simpler but um, pages does it very nicely as well so first I'll open the doc I'll just open it with pages and here it is and so you can you can obviously use all the tools um, set set a landscape I won't continue on but this is very compatible. Same with DocX. Oops. Same with DocX. Um, DocX, if I open it with pages, works just as well. So you don't have to deal with compatibility issues. Um, pretty nice. I'm not going to save that. Um, Subscribe.ppt. My PowerPoint opens quite nicely. Now the disadvantage of this is that you can't just plain go ahead and save it as a ppt you have to save it as um, a dot whatever the file extension is for keynote same goes for pages and docs so um, basically you have to export it and let me just demonstrate export if you go up to share then click export you can select a format quicktime ppt pdf images html or ipod I'm not going to export it this because it's not the best thing ever. Um, and then, of course, here's my RTF file. I use text edit for these, but I'll just show you. Pages opens the RTF file just as well. Um, I don't think inserting media would go great in here, um, nor would tables. This also opens HTMLs, but I don't have any good HTMLs to show you that don't basically that aren't our website, so I won't go on to that. Um, now, whenever you have a pages document, I'll just open up mm, or or a keynote document or a spreadsheet, um, a numbers document. 
there's a great feature that, that, that has been added, and that is iWork.com. That's totally HTML. So if you click iWork.com, and I'm going to edit out where it says my email address, it will ask you to invite someone to share your document online. Okay. Share this document. Now, they won't be able to edit it, but they will be able to download it and leave comments. And um, right here, you can select your email address, and you can just type a message, hello, share this. Now, you can click share. You know, share this document. Okay, and so now I'll just show you what they'll see. And right now, iWork.com is a beta, and they'll want you to log in just to make it secure. So I'll log in. Okay. So now, right here is my document on the internet, and it looks like a real document. And I can add comments, like type hello, post the note. I can, of course, delete the note. Um, MacKids and One is viewing it right now. Here's some information. Pretty cool. So here are the slides. Um, you can add comment, hide all comments. Um, you cannot edit it. You can also download it and select your download format. I can download Keynote, PDF, or PowerPoint. So that's pretty cool. So now I'll just I'll just show you what Mac heads and all will get in the email. So I'm going to log into our media account. Okay. And here's our inbox. So right here, Alex Nickel is this message. And I can click right here. Okay, and here's the document once again. So this is just, um, in my opinion, I, I love this feature. I think it's it's pretty cool. Um, and I really enjoy iWork.com. This works with any type of document, and it's just it's just great in my opinion. So, but there are a few things that it doesn't do that I'd like it to do. But mostly, it does everything I want it to do, and I'm glad. And it's great for work. I don't think you'll be making very many PowerPoint games on this if you like to make games with PowerPoint. You can password protect any type of document, which I find interesting. Um, so this is um, just a, a brief overview. This is just an overview of I of iWork, and you can you can get more, see more by downloading the beta or the the demo from Apple's website, and that is free. So thank you for watching, Mac Kids in One. Subscribe and goodbye.